You ever wonder why it feels like you're constantly on your own, like no one truly gets you? Why, no matter how hard you try to connect, the relationships just don't last or feel right. You, the chosen ones, are different. And that difference isn't a flaw or a curse, it's a sign of your deeper purpose. You weren't made to fit in, and that's where the confusion comes in. Society tells us that being alone is wrong, that it's unnatural to walk without friends or relationships. But here's the real truth. There's nothing wrong with you. You're not broken. You're being set apart for something much bigger than what everyone else around you is living for. When you look around, you see people surrounded by friends, in relationships, moving through life seemingly connected to others. Yet you feel like you're on a different wavelength. It's frustrating, right? You start to think, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the problem, but here's what no one tells you you're not supposed to be like them. Being alone, having no friends, not being in a relationship, it's not a flaw in your life's design. In fact, it's part of your spiritual path. You're walking a path that most people can't even understand. And that's why the universe has removed the distractions. Friendships, relationships, they come with expectations, with roles to play, with energies that, for you, can get in the way of what you're truly here to do. You were never meant to be ordinary. Most people are looking for connection because they feel incomplete. They think having friends or being in a relationship will fill that emptiness inside. But as a chosen one, you already know that connection starts from within. The loneliness you feel isn't a punishment, it's space that's being created for you to discover something deeper, something that most people are too distracted to even think about. You're being set apart because there's work to do. The universe needs you to be sharp, to be focused, to be focused, to be in tune with your higher self. And that means clearing out the noise, clearing out the unnecessary attachments. Think about it, when was the last time you felt truly aligned when you were surrounded by people? Probably never, because that's not how your journey works. The universe pulls you away from those connections because it knows that to fully step into your purpose, you need space. Real growth happens in solitude. Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lesson. So many people feel incomplete without others. They fill their lives with constant interaction, with external noise, hoping it'll drown out their internal confusion. But that's not for you. You're not here to be distracted. You're here to find your inner strength, your true self, without needing anyone else to complete you. That's why, for now, you might not have friends. You might not be in a relationship. But that's exactly how it's supposed to be right now. Look at it this way. How many times have relationships or friendships pulled you off track, drained your energy, or left you feeling more disconnected than before? It's not about blaming others. It's just that your energy, your spirit, operates on a different level. And most people simply can't keep up. The universe knows this. And that's why it's keeping you in a space where you can focus on your own evolution. There's a shift happening in you, and solitude is where that shift becomes real. It's uncomfortable, sure. Most people can't handle being alone because it forces them to face themselves. And the truth is, it's easier to avoid that by surrounding yourself with others. But you're not here for the easy path. You're here for something much more powerful. That's why the idea of being alone, of having no friends or no relationships right now, isn't something to fear. It's something to embrace. The universe is clearing the space for you to become who you're meant to be. The right connections will come, but not until you've fully aligned with your higher purpose. And those connections? They won't be like the ones you've experienced before. 
they'll be deep, real, and aligned with who you truly are. But until then, the time you have alone is sacred. This is where the real work happens. This is where the universe gives you the space to grow, to transform, and to shed the parts of yourself that were never really you. The more you embrace this space, the more you'll start to understand why things had to be this way. And trust me, it's not forever. The time will come when you'll connect with others who are vibrating on the same frequency, but first, you have to find yourself. So we've talked about why you're alone, why the universe has pulled you away from the distractions of friendships and relationships. But now let's take it deeper. What's really happening here? What's the purpose behind this solitude? You're not just being isolated for the sake of isolation. You're being prepared, prepared for something that requires you to be fully in tune with yourself, to be centered in your power, without the interference of other people's expectations or energy. You're walking a path that very few people understand, and because of that, the universe is giving you the space to evolve. Here's the thing most people aren't prepared for the truth of who they are. They spend their lives avoiding the deeper questions, hiding behind the masks they wear for others. But you, you're different. You've been chosen to live in truth. And to live in truth, you have to first face it without distraction, without the external noise that comes from being overly concerned with what others think. Solitude is your training ground. This is where you're sharpening your intuition, connecting with your higher self, and understanding the depth of your spiritual gifts. It's where you begin to realize that everything you've been looking for outside of yourself has always been within you. The universe has stripped away the distractions because it knows that once you tap into your true power, once you fully align with your purpose, you'll become unstoppable. Most people need others to validate them. They look for approval, for a sense of belonging, because they're disconnected from their own inner truth. But as a chosen one, you're being called to a higher level of existence. You're being called to be self-sufficient, to find your strength from within, and to stop relying on external relationships to define your worth. Think of it like this, you're going through a spiritual boot camp. The universe is putting you through this period of solitude because you're being prepared for something much bigger. And when the time is right, the people who are meant to walk this path with you will show up. But not before you've become strong enough to walk it on your own. This period of being alone isn't something that just happens to you. It's happening for you. It's a deliberate part of your journey a necessary step toward fulfilling your higher purpose. It's giving you the chance to clear out the distractions, to focus on what really matters, and to become the person you're meant to be. Once you stop resisting this, once you fully embrace the space the universe is giving you, everything will start to shift. You'll stop feeling the emptiness that comes from being alone and you'll start to feel the fullness that comes from being deeply connected to your own spirit. And when that happens, you'll understand why this time was so important. This isn't about surviving your solitude, it's about thriving in it. Most people are terrified of being alone because they've never learned how to be at peace with themselves. But you, you're here to learn that lesson. You're here to understand that true power comes from within and that when you no longer need others to fill the gaps in your life, you'll become whole. And here's the paradox the moment you stop needing others, the moment you stop relying on external relationships for your happiness, the right people will come into your life. Not because you need them, but because you're ready for them. Soul-aligned connections, the kind of relationships that are deep, meaningful, and supportive will come when you fully aligned with your own energy. 
But until then, you're being given a gift. The gift of solitude. The gift of space. The gift of time to grow, to evolve, and to prepare for what's coming next. And trust me, something incredible is coming. This period of isolation is only temporary, but the strength, clarity, and self-awareness you gain from it will last a lifetime. Let's get into the part of this journey where things start to make even more sense, where the whole picture starts coming together. You see, being alone isn't the end of your story. Far from it. It's the preparation, the clearing out of the old to make room for something much bigger, much deeper. The solitude, the absence of friendships and relationships isn't permanent. It's setting the stage for the real connections, the ones that are aligned with who you've become and who you're meant to be. The universe doesn't waste your time. Every moment of silence, every space where you felt isolated has been designed to elevate you to a higher level of consciousness. Now imagine this, you've been walking your path alone, doing the inner work, shedding the layers of the old you and stepping more fully into your true self. The more you connect with your higher purpose, the more your energy changes. And when that happens, you naturally begin to attract a different kind of connection people who match your frequency. These aren't just surface level friendships. These are soul aligned connections, relationships built on a shared understanding of who you truly are. These people are your spiritual tribe and they're waiting for you on the other side of this period of solitude. But here's where it gets even deeper the moment you stop searching, the moment you stop needing external validation, the universe starts working in your favor. This isn't about forcing connections or chasing after relationships that aren't meant for you. It's about allowing, allowing the right people to show up at the right time. And they will, once you've fully stepped into your power. Think of it like this, you've been tuning yourself to a higher frequency. Most people are operating on a lower level of awareness, caught up in the noise of the world, in distractions, in superficial connections. But you, you've been set apart, fine tuning your energy, raising your vibration. And when your vibration changes, the people you attract also change. Suddenly, those who once didn't understand you, who couldn't connect with you on a deeper level, begin to fall away. And that's okay. They were never meant to walk your path. What's coming next for you are the relationships that matter, the ones that are built on trust, on spiritual alignment, on a shared sense of purpose. But there's a reason these connections couldn't come into your life earlier. If they had shown up before you were ready, you wouldn't have recognized their significance. You might have pushed them away, still caught up in old patterns, in old expectations. You had to go through this period of solitude to become the person who can truly appreciate and hold space for these soul-aligned connections. But don't think this is just about finding people who are like you. It's deeper than that. These relationships are going to challenge you in ways you never expected. They're going to push you to grow, to expand your understanding of yourself in the world. These are not people who will simply agree with everything you say or think. They are here to help you evolve, to mirror back to you the parts of yourself that still need healing that still need to be refined. And that's why they're so important. You're not meant to do this alone forever. But there's one crucial thing to understand these connections won't happen if you're still holding on to the fear of loneliness. If you're still in that mindset of needing friends or relationships to feel whole, you'll block the very thing you've been waiting for. The universe operates on energy. And if your energy is coming from a place of lack, of need, it can't align with the higher frequency connections that are meant for you. You have to be at peace with where you are. You have to let go of the desperation, 
the worry, the fear that you'll always be alone. The truth is, once you find peace in your solitude, once you embrace the space that's been created for you, everything will start to shift. You'll stop seeking and the right people will find you. These connections will come effortlessly because they're divinely orchestrated. There's no forcing, no chasing. The universe knows exactly when the timing is right and it's working behind the scenes, aligning everything for your highest good. And here's something important, not everyone you meet is meant to stay forever. Some soul connections come into your life for a season to help you through a particular phase of your journey and then they move on. That's why it's so important not to hold on too tightly. Let the energy flow. Allow the relationships to evolve naturally. Some will stay, others will leave, and that's all part of the process. The key is to trust that the universe is always bringing the right people into your life at the right time. So what does this mean for you right now? It means that you need to stop worrying about the fact that you're alone. Stop thinking that you're missing out on something just because you don't have a ton of friends or a relationship right now. You're not missing out, you're preparing. The universe is preparing you for connections that are on a higher level, connections that will elevate your life, not distract you from your purpose. You're on the edge of something big, all the solitude, all the isolation, all the time you've spent feeling like you don't fit in, it's all been leading up to this moment. The moment when everything starts to make sense. When the people who are meant to walk this path with you begin to show up. But they'll only show up when you're truly ready. And readiness comes from peace. From accepting where you are, trusting the process, and knowing that everything is unfolding exactly as it should. So where does that leave you? Right here, in this moment. Not worrying about what's next. Not anxious about whether you'll ever find your tribe, but fully present in the now. This is where the magic happens. When you stop resisting your current reality, when you stop fighting against the solitude, you open yourself up to the infinite possibilities that are waiting for you. You're not alone because something is wrong. You're alone because the universe is crafting something beautiful for you. And the best part, it's all coming together in perfect timing. Let's take this even further, because what's coming next for you is something most people never get to experience. You've already done the hard part being alone, walking through the silence, facing your inner world. Now what's waiting for you is alignment, a flow of events and connections that will make you realize why things had to be the way they were. But first, you have to let go of the worry that comes from being alone. Because when you hold on to that fear, you're holding back the very thing that's meant to come into your life. Think about it. How many times have you worried that there's something wrong with you because you don't fit into the social norms? That feeling like an outsider, like no one quite understands you, can be frustrating. But here's the truth you've been set apart, because your energy doesn't align with the mainstream. You're not wired for the mundane, for the surface-level connections most people cling to. Your journey is deeper, more meaningful, and that's why you've been alone. You're not here to play by the rules. You're meant to create your own path, and that kind of path requires you to stand strong on your own for a while. The friendships, the relationships, they weren't supposed to hold you back. And when they did, the universe had to strip them away, even when it hurt. It wasn't a rejection, it was redirection. Redirecting you to yourself, to your purpose, to what truly matters. When you worry about being alone, you're fighting against this redirection. But when you stop worrying, 
when you accept that this time is essential for your growth, everything changes. You shift from feeling like something is missing to realizing that this time is giving you what you've been seeking all along clarity, peace, and power. Now, here's where it gets real the right people are coming. They are. But these people aren't just going to show up to fill the void. They'll come because you've elevated yourself to a point where you're ready for them. And these connections are going to be on a whole different level. You'll know them the moment you meet them, not because of anything superficial, but because their energy will match yours. You'll feel that deep resonance, the kind that's unmistakable. These people are your tribe, your spiritual family, and they're coming because you've done the inner work. This is how the universe works. It doesn't just hand you the connections when you're not ready. It waits. It waits for you to find peace within, to stop searching outside for validation. And when you finally stop worrying, when you fully embrace your path, that's when things start to flow. That's when the right people show up. But here's something important. These soul aligned connections won't look like the relationships you've had in the past. The old way of connecting based on need, expectation, or convenience that's gone. These new connections will be built on mutual growth, understanding, and a shared purpose. You'll grow together. You'll push each other to reach new levels of spiritual and personal evolution. This is what you've been preparing for. Now, think back to the people you've met along your journey so far. Some were there for a reason, but not for a lifetime. They were there to teach you something about yourself, about what you want and don't want, about what matters to you on a deeper level. And once those lessons were learned, those relationships ended. It wasn't a failure. It was all part of the plan. Not everyone is meant to stay. But what's coming now, after you've been through this period of solitude and reflection, are connections that are designed to stay. They're built on truth, not on temporary needs or superficial desires. These are the people who will understand you without you having to explain. They'll see you, the real you, in a way that no one else has. And that's because you've finally seen yourself. You've embraced who you are without needing anyone else to validate it. The key is to be patient. The universe works on its own timing, and it's always perfect. But you have to trust that. The worst thing you can do is rush this process or settle for relationships that don't truly serve you just because you feel lonely. You've come too far to fall back into that. The time alone was necessary to get you to this point, and the people who are meant for you are being prepared just as much as you've been prepared. So what happens next? You step forward without fear, without that old need to be surrounded by people for the sake of it. You let go of the idea that being alone is a problem that needs to be fixed. You recognize that being alone was the solution all along because it gave you the space to grow into the person you're meant to be. And when the connections start to appear and they will, you'll be ready for them. You won't be looking for someone to complete you because you've already completed yourself. You'll be looking to grow together, to create something bigger than just a relationship. These people, your tribe, will amplify your energy, not drain it. They'll walk beside you, not ahead or behind. This is what true connection looks like. The loneliness the isolation, it's temporary. But the strength, the clarity, and the power you've gained from it are forever. You're not the same person you were when this journey began. And that's the whole point. You've evolved. And now the relationships that come into your life will reflect that evolution. This is why you had to be alone. To become the person you are now. 
to step into your purpose fully without the noise of the world holding you back. And now that you've done that, you can stop worrying. Everything you've been waiting for is on its way, and it's going to be more powerful, more meaningful, and more aligned than you ever imagined. This is just the beginning. The connections, the friendships, the relationships that are coming your way will elevate you even further. You've earned this, you've done the work, and now you can finally relax into the flow, knowing that the universe is aligning everything for your highest good. The period of being alone is coming to an end. The chosen ones never walk alone forever. But when you do walk with others, it will be with those who are meant to share in your journey, not distract you from it. That's the reward for embracing your solitude. The right people, the right relationships at the right time. So stop worrying. You're exactly where you're meant to be.